vlogging camera. So I'm now vlogging on my iPhone. And girl, there ain't no beauty filter on the iPhone. And it's not good. Post production. It's not, <laughs> it's not looking pretty. <laughs> we have just landed in New York and we are now making our way to, I guess, Terminal C for our connecting flight to go to Toronto. Um, we had a lot of drama this morning since my mom didn't realize she needed a visa to go to Canada. So that was fun. Also, I forgot my vlogging camera. And then Lawrence brought Polaroid film, but not his Polaroid camera. It's a mess. Candy. Look at it, it's so pretty. Ooh, sugar peanut. Good job on your packaging and branding and everything. You hold my hand while you drive. It's another one of those nights. You ask me what's wrong. And it's like your own private office. So you can unlock your workspace and you go inside and there's like a seat, a table, and a monitor for you. Pretty cool. All right, we're about to board our plane to go to Toronto. Never been to Canada before, so that's exciting. Have you not? No, I haven't. Um, they took my baggage because it wasn't gonna fit on the plane, so I have to go and pick it up from the carousel. And they've been yelling at us all morning. Yeah. It's been a rough trip. <laughs> it has been pretty rough. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. It's gonna be great. I also took the 30 minutes to put makeup on, so that's I why I look different. haven't. I got a seat next to Lauren's. Ew. So he took my window seat. So, anyway, there's Clint and my sister. No clue where mom went, actually. She's business. She got she's in business? Yeah, you didn't see her? No, I didn't. Yeah, she's like on the left side. Oh my god. Oh, okay. So my mom, I guess, had visa issues and then she got upgraded. So good for her. Um, this flight's supposed to only be like... Bro, your finger. Oh, oh man. I'm not used to the camera being over here. Um, this flight's supposed to be an hour and a half or something. Oh, yeah, so that's Lawrence the is the master snapchatter. He is really good at putting filters on other people's face. <laughs> Do you feel the panic that I feel? Cause we both know we're running out of time. It's such a human thing to Right guys, we are successfully out of immigration and customs and we are in the arrival hall. Now we need to go pick up our oh sorry. We need to go pick up our um, car rental. Thank you, Lawrence. Um, and thank goodness we checked with the AT&T people, but we get um, to use our internet and texting and everything here. So that's fun and exciting. Stop it! I'll kill you. Oh yeah, there. forgot to mention, there was also a bunch of like just drama going through immigration because none of their machines would work for all of our passports. And then we went in and then had to go through the immigration line and then the lady didn't know how to use the the bar thingies, the barriers. And so then we were like in a line to nowhere and then we had to like go and change into another line because she didn't know how to work the things and then it was just a, a whole mess. But we're out and we're gonna, uh, mom's exchanging money She's now. freaking out about exchanging money.
onto the streets of Toronto. Floor. If you don't put it. Wait, hold on. Let me put it properly. Okay, babe. We're heading to Sunglasses Clips. Oh my god. East. Please. And they're polarized. Wow. Oh my god. And they're polarized. Wow. So cool. Our Airbnb. It's actually pretty nice. We are pretty much in like downtown Chinatown. And there are two rooms. There's one master room. And then there's a bunk bed here. Hi! It is 5.30 right now and we are walking down the street to go to Kensington Market. We're guessing it's like the middle of Chinatown. Um, so we're just gonna find some snacks before we go and get all you can eat sushi. We really didn't have a plan before coming to Canada. So um, we're figuring, figuring it out as we go. So right when you turn the corner from our Airbnb, we uh, this is like where we parked our car. So there's a whole row of these little shops down here. Um, that we're gonna check out and see what they have. Ooh. I'm coming soon. The whole place is like a mix of like super bougie stuff, but also super Chinatown stuff, so it's very interesting. because there really isn't that much Chinese food. There's actually more like Hispanic food and Jamaican food here in this area. Um, there's also just like a bunch of cute little bougie stores that are sprinkled. Also, it's like 5.45 and it doesn't seem like a lot of stuff is open. So still kind of getting a feel for um, this place. But right now we are stopped next to a um, fresh market. And again, just still checking out, scoping out the place. So we just walked about a mile um, along the street called Dundas. And we are now in the mall called Winners and uh, trying to look for spring sushi for some all you can eat sushi. The vibe here is very much like Malaysia. Like yeah. in Malaysia, you go to the food court and there's like main seating and you go to all these little stores to yes, get your food. Okay, one more up. Alright, this mall is definitely bigger than anything that we have in Arkansas. Tim Hortons for the first time. How was it? Pretty Tastes like good. coffee. <laughs> we didn't know that just regular coffee came with milk. So we're all pretty exhausted um, and we're making our way back to our Airbnb now. Mom, of course, didn't bring her tennis shoes, so she is not too happy. Um, but we are. Yeah, th it, there's like there's like little pockets of air that just smell really bad here in the city, which is kind of gross. But anyway, yep, we're making our way back. We should be back in about 15 minutes. Here's the, here's the group. It's good because we need to walk off all of that food that we've been eating for the last two hours. 